Now, this is a little film about something I used to spend a lot of time doing and still kind of wish I could spend a lot of time doing, um, which is collecting crab shells. I know it sounds a bit strange, but uh, when I go down to the beach, I often find a freshly molted crab skin. Because you think about it, crabs grow by molting their skin. They can't expand their skin like we do when we grow. They can't constantly replace it. They literally have a hard exoskeleton. Now, this is a bit of a rubbish one because he's not perfect and his legs are falling off. But here's a couple I found. This one um, is a molted skin. Now, how do you know whether it's a molted skin or a dead crab? Well, it's quite difficult because they are so good at molting their skin it effectively is just a crab without the crab inside. Um, you can usually tell by um, lifting up the back of the carapace. That's where the crab pops out. So what I like to do, what I used to like to do, is take the crab skin. Here's one that's um, a bit more perfect in the sense of it's got all its legs or it's about to lose them. Now what I do is I take something like a piece of polystyrene, um, any kind of packing material that you can get a pin into, some foam is quite good, although this stuff is quite rigid. And what I do is very, very gently adjust and arrange my crab. Do you see, crabs kind of get taken for granted. We've got many species around our shores and coasts, and all of them molt their skin. So if you're really lucky and you're really, really um, observant when you're on your summer holidays, you should be able to collect several species this way. All the claws out as well. Oh, crab sticks. <laughs> now, as you've noticed, he's moved around quite a bit while I did that adjustment. So once you've got him roughly in the right position, what I then do is I fix him in position with the pins. So they're just regular needlework pins. Most mums and some dads have these. There we are, absolutely perfect. Now, all I've got to do is leave this crab somewhere to dry out naturally. In the sun is perfect. Now, just a little note, try and put your crab somewhere where it's not gonna get knocked or disturbed by your pets. Cats and dogs love to snuffle around these things and they'll often mess it all up. But once it's dry, you've got yourself a perfect little crab. It's just like a little transformer, these things. Wonderful little, little chaps. And given the number of species of crab we have around our shore, you could after a good summer holiday of foraging and beachcombing and looking in rock pools, you could potentially turn up quite a nice little collection of British crabs.